Right, I'm just going to look a little bit at using a pick because usually when I'm doing the, I use my um, I bring I I play a bar chord down here so you can see both what's going on. But when you when you're strumming and you start to strum your guitar, you might want to use your fingers. Sometimes you use fingers, sometimes a pick, or we use a pick. And what I'm going to look at today is using a pick. Now this is. Um, now I use quite a, th a firm, firm pick, I don't use them too soft, I find if they're too soft you get this flappy noise with the when you're playing in you get a lot of pick sound and I, I don't personally like it, too hard I find too much. Um, I, I use sort of a medium, it is fairly, fairly hard that pick is, there's not an awful lot of giving it without it snapping. Um, anyway, so when you start to strum You've got your chord, I'm going to play a bar chord up here so you can see what I'm doing with both hands. But when you start to strum, you've got your pick. When you're coming down the strings, point your pick up. Don't have your pick coming down. Keep it at a nice upward angle and it's quite a high angle and it will just slide over the strings really nicely. Now when you get to the bottom, point your pick down, then up, and then down, then up. And you hold the pick between your thumb and your finger, or well, that's the way I hold it, and um, depending on what sort of, if I'm playing lead, and I, I tend not to have a lot of the pick showing, um, find your own way of holding it really but I put, I put it between my two, my thumb and my first finger and um, kind of support it on my second finger there's a bit of support there and it's that and it's not tightly gripped in your hand I don't really it's not really tight it's quite loose um, Is that down, down. and it is that change of direction for each movement I do and we're coming down and coming up and it is that just, and try and keep it nice and even going across the strings As we've mentioned with some of the chords, and, and this is where it gets a bit more tricky because it's really important to get the chords sounding nice and your playing sounding nice, What, how you use your pick and how you use your strumming hand. And so when you are playing chords that you only need to be playing, say the bottom five strings and not all six strings, that's when precision comes in, not to hit that top string. And then back to all six. Change the chord, and then back to all six. So when you're playing a, a D chord, you only have to play the bottom four notes with the pick. But again, it's that pointing up and pointing down. So now you've got this. to a C where you use all five and then you go to a G and then you're using all the chord oh, then you're using all the strings back to a C back to a D only the four strings to a C, five strings, G, six strings, C, only the five strings, and then to a D, only the four strings.
and that's a first look at strumming with using the plectrum.